Okay, so here I have a five terabyte Western Digital uh, Easy Store. Uh, the drive itself is not powering on. When we plug in the USB port, uh, the drive is completely dead. So, uh, upon uh, removing the uh, printed circuit board, uh, we noticed that there was a circuit failure uh, on the AS Media. ASM 1151W chip, which is a USB to SATA USB controller. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, replace it. So uh, I have a another printed circuit board here, which I have uh, removed the controller from, and uh, I've got this little guy here. And we're going to replace it on this drive and uh, see if we can get the drive functioning again. Okay, I'm back. And what an interesting journey that was. So, uh, as you know, I was uh, attempting to replace the USB bridge, uh, which I successfully replaced. This is the new one here. Uh, upon replacing that component, uh, the chip to the right just here uh, would overheat. It was uh, impossible to touch. It was that hot. So uh, I ended up replacing that component. Uh, from there, the drive would spin, initialize, but was not recognized by the USB port. So now we have a uh, interesting situation. So what I did from there is removed what is known as the U12 chip. This is the, the firmware and ROM information uh, that is unique to the drive. But um, what happened is upon replacing this to a new board, the drive would be recognized and it would clone beautifully but all the data was encrypted. And the reason with this is because these particular drives are what they call SED locked. What that means is that there is a lock between the user interface and the service area of the drive. So this information, this unique information that ties in with this chip is located on the, uh, the, the Marvell MCU chip. So what I had to do was replace this component and the MCU onto a new board. Not an easy task. Uh, it was successful and uh, the drive's actually cloning uh, as we speak uh, unencrypted because these two components are tied together. Uh, there is uh, boards, unlocked boards, if you do a little bit of research, there's methods where people are uh, bypassing the USB interface altogether uh, with SATA connectors, and etc., which we all have here and, and, and which I do use in, in, in multiple scenarios. Uh, but to me, this was the, the, the easier path to follow.